now let's see how we can work around with the auto blink feature inside of Adobe Character Animator. So to do that, first of all, I need a character and for that, I'm going to go to home right here and select a preset character, as you can see right here. So once you uh, get that out right here, I'm going to go around into Puppet and I'm going to add in a trigger for that. So I'm going to go to Behavior, I'm going to select the character right here and I'm going to click on Behavior and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select Auto Blink right here, which is the second option as you can see right here. Once I click on that, uh, you can see that there's auto blink and these are the parameters that's applied. So I'm just going to go to record right here and see what happens. And now this is what you have right here. The auto blink is here and you can see that the character blinks from time to time. So you can open this out as well. And here you can see some parameters. So blinks per minute are 30. So what happens is that in random intervals, it actually blinks at the rate of 30 blinks uh, per minute. I can also increase out the blink as you can see so that the character blinks out much more often or decrease out the blink rate right here. So you can see that if I were to do let's say 30 blinks right now the random minutes is 100 so the timing in the inter intervals actually changes out. If I were to decrease the randomness then it blinks out every two seconds right here okay and then if I were to go around and say like 120 it blinks out at a constant rate as you can see. So let's just go on to 300 right here. So it keeps on blinking out. If I were to increase the randomness, then it changes out right here as you can see. So some blinks are faster, some blinks are slower. I can increase that out even further and you can see that that is how it actually works out. So let me just keep that to 100. And over here, the other parameter that you can work with is the blink duration. So right now it's 80, uh, milliseconds but if I were to do 10 then the blink becomes faster as you can see right here uh, almost at the point it is very fast for us to actually notice anything so I'm just going to say 40 and you can see that the blink is faster or you can make it slower by typing in something like 200 so that the blink takes in much more time and that is how you can work around with the auto blink feature inside of Adobe character animator so if you guys learn something as always and as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.